Hey guys, welcome back to the Pixelmate channel. The name is Shank, and I'm the host. I'll be uploading a bunch of Adobe XD and Illustrator tutorial series on this channel. Well basically this is a continuation of my XD tutorial series. So if you haven't watched the previous one yet, I would suggest you do. And I'll leave a link in the description for your convenience. So now that you have, let's move on. In this part, we will learn how to use audio playback as a trigger and replicate the music player app. So without any more further ado, let's dive into the video, shall we? First, let's duplicate this artboard and rename to play screen. Well, before designing the player screen, I'm gonna rearrange some of the content to get the transition that I'm looking for. So let's bring this logo over here and bring down the opacity to zero. Then move this one over to the left. And this one to the right. And just like we did for the previous one bring down the opacity for these two. and also select all of these. Move this down just like that. Then reduce the opacity to zero. So now that we have got the relevant transition objects outside the visual area, let's get started with the play screen design. So now let's make the background white. Basically, there are two methods to do that. You can either go up to the Layers panel, then navigate to the object you want to select, and increase this box. Or just keep double-clicking on the object you want to select, until you see the blue overlay around the border. Then increase the background, just like that. Well, I prefer this one, simply cause it's easier. But hey, feel free to use whatever works best for you. Select these objects, and move this to the top. Let's create a picture box to place the album cover. Next, let's add a timestamp. Looks cool, huh?
Now go to the song action folder. As you guys can see, some of the icons are hidden within the folder. In the previous artboard, the music player is in a minimized state. Basically, options are limited. That's why less prominent icons are hidden. But this artboard is a full screen version. So we will be using the hidden icons later in this video. For now, just select the visible layers except list icon under this layer. Then let's bring this over here. Currently, the opacity for the backward button is 0. So let's bring that up the same as this one, which is 30. So change this to 30%. Also let's make this whole set bigger. And finally, I'll unhide these icons. <laughs> Looks good, but maybe I'll increase the opacity slightly for these icons. Say 50%. Yeah, looks cool hot. Huh? Before we move on any further, I'll just make one last change to this artboard. And done. Before we move on any further, I'll make some pre-transition changes, and be right back. So basically, what I did was, copy these newly created layers into the previous artboard. As you guys can see, I have moved this up a little. and also reduced opacity, so when the transition happens, it will give us a cool drop effect. The play screen design is now complete. Next duplicate this artboard. Duplicate once again. Rename this artboard as play. And this one is pause. We are not going to change anything in the play artboard. It will just serve as a time delay for the play screen. You'll understand this process much better once we're done with prototyping. So stick around. Now let's make some transition changes in the pause artboard. And done. Now that everything is set, it's time for prototyping. Let's sew the artboard. First, let's change the minimize play screen in this artboard. Go to the layers panel. Select this play button. And drag this arrow just like that. Set trigger to tap. Auto-animate. 
ease and out, and set the duration to 0.4 seconds. Next under Play Screen Artboard, select this Close button. For this let's leave settings the same as the previous one. Then select the Play Screen Artboard. Drag this arrow, and connect to the Play Artboard to create a time delay for the Play Screen design. Set Tap to Time. Let it be 0 seconds. Auto Animate to Transition. Animation to None. Now under Play Artboard. Select the Play button. Drag the arrow, and connect to Pause Artboard just like that. Set the trigger to Tap, Auto Animate. Ease and Out. Duration to 0.3 seconds. Now to add audio, select add the action by clicking this plus button. Type is, audio playback, let's leave it at that. Now choose the audio file of your own preference. Well, I'm gonna use some non-copyrighted song just in case. Let's link pause back to play artboard. I'm gonna retain the settings the same as earlier. Before we preview, I'll just connect the down arrow button to play screen in a minimized state, just like we did for play screen artboard. Finally, it's time to preview. Sweet. Looks awesome, right? Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any doubts relating to this topic, hit me in the comments section. I'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video please hit the thumbs up, share it if you found it helpful, and subscribe to get notified of my latest uploads. Shanks out. Peace y'all.